Hello everybody, my name is Dillard, coming back at you with another top 10 plays of the week MLB edition at the number 10 spot. We have the Dodgers and the Pirates playing. Reynolds grounds it out to Muncie. Muncie heads it to Kershaw and he slide tackles him to get the out. Kershaw is secretly a liability in the flesh. He is secretly a linebacker for the Los Angeles Rams and none of us knew it. At the number 9 spot, we have the Royals playing the Rays in Tampa Bay. Solaris pitching and he pitches a bad pitch in the dirt and it gets away from the catcher. But Modesty is not only going to go from second to third on this advantage, he's going to go from third to home and he's going to score. What a pair of wheels. He is secretly flashed in the flesh. At the number 8 spot, we have the Yankees playing the Angels in Anaheim. This one crushes me as a Yankees fan, but Brett Gardner crushes it and Big MT is going to make an outstanding grab in center field. This is why they paid Mike Trout all that money because he is one of the best to ever play the game and will be one of the best to ever play the game. At the number seven spot, we have the Miami Marlins playing the Philadelphia Phillies. There's a base hit to left field right to Nick Williams, but Rojas is going to try and score and give the Marlins the lead with the fist of Thanos. He throws a bullet right to the catcher and gets Rojas out to prevent a possible run in the ninth inning. At the number six spot, we have the Seattle Mariners playing the San Diego Padres in San Diego. The hit is a small blooper, but Austin Hedges is going to get a beautiful grass spot on him and make a beautiful play right to the first baseman. At the number five spot, we have the Los Angeles Dodgers playing the Chicago Cubs in Chicago. Jose Q rounds up for the pitch. Cody Bellinger shoots it right back to where it belongs. What a heads up play by Jose Q to get the out. At the number four spot, we have the Washington Nationals playing the Colorado Rockies in Colorado. Mr. Arenado, one of the best third basemen to ever touch the game, is going to make an amazing play at third and throw it all the way to first to end the game. What an amazing play to end the game by Arenado. At the number three spot, grab your popcorn, your candy, and your drinks because this is going to be quite a long one right here. Mr. Jorge Polanco had a heck of a day on Monday against the Houston Astros with already a 1.6 war, 337 BA, 390 OBP, 632 slugging, and a 1.022 OPS. He is making a case for one of the better hitters in the league, no doubt. This game alone, he had a total of five at-bats, and in five at-bats, he had four hits with four RBIs, one double, and one home run. He is absolutely killing it in this league. This man is very entertaining to watch, and I hope to see a lot more from him. At the number two spot, we have the Washington Nationals playing the Colorado Rockies yet again in Coors Field. Beautiful Colorado. Tapia is going to see a foul ball on the left field side, but he's not going to let that phase him because he's going to get a beautiful Derek Jeter light catch into the stands. What an outstanding play by an outstanding underrated left fielder. For our first honorable mention of the week goes to Mr. Nolan Arenado giving him another spot on our top 10 plays of the week. A showering, towering home run to left center field giving the Rockies the lead 6-5 to five in the bottom of the 7th inning and marking an absolute amazing milestone and amazing feat by an amazing third baseman, Mr. Nolan Arenado. You are a one-of-a-kind third baseman. For the second honorable mention of the week, goes to the Padres. Manny Machado makes an outstanding play, throws it to Tati Jr. from his backside, tries to get the double play. They don't get it, unfortunately, but I had to put this on the list because of Manny Machado's insane reaction time and Tati Jr.'s effort to try and get the double play. For our third honorable mention of the week, goes to the Cub Killer, aka the Cardinals legend, aka Mr. Albert Pujols himself, shooting a two-run homer to deep left center field giving the Angels the lead 2-0, and not only giving them the 2-0 lead over the Angels, but Albert Pujols with that hit and those two RBIs passes Lou Gehrig on the all-time RBI list. For our fourth honorable mention of the week, with the score tied 11-11 between the White Sox and the Tigers in the bottom of ninth inning, Anderson smacks a home run to left field, giving the White Sox a walk-off win. You can put it on the board! Yeah! And for our final honorable mention, I'm just going to go ahead and let the commentary and the game speak for itself. Baez gets his bat on it. Freeze. Wow. The magician. They rule stayed in the base path. Is simply juked. And for our number one spot of the week, the Milwaukee Brewers are playing the New York Mets in New York. Todd Frazier absolutely smacks one to deep right center field, but Lorenzo on the track makes a leaping catch to catch the ball. This man is off the charts. One of the best center fielders in the league without a doubt.